In mathematics, modular arithmetic is a system of arithmetic for integers, where numbers wrap around upon reaching a certain value a euro the modulus. The modern approach to modular arithmetic was developed by Carl Friedrich Gauss in his book Disquisitions Arithmetici, published in 1801. A familiar use of modular arithmetic is in the 12-hour clock, in which the day is divided into two 12-hour periods. If the time is 7 o'clock now, then 8 hours later it will be 3.00. Usual addition would suggest that the later time should be 7 a plus a 8 a equals a 15, but this is not the answer because clock time wraps around every 12 hours. In 12-hour time, there is no 15 o'clock. Likewise, if the clock starts at 12 o'clock and 21 hours elapse, then the time will be 9.00 the next day, rather than 33.00. Since the hour number starts over after it reaches 12, this is arithmetic modulo 12. 12 is congruent not only to 12 itself, but also to 0, so the time called 12.00 could also be called 00, since 12 is congruent to 0 modulo 12. This analogy is a little loose. The proper way to interpret this is that the group of integers modulo n act on the numbers of a clock, rather than the numbers on the clock being added together. Adding together two times on a clock is an example of a type error. However, it provides a useful way to understand the concept for the first time. For a positive integer n, two integers a and b are said to be congruent modulo a n, and written as if their difference or a a b is an integer multiple of n. The number n is called the modulus of the congruence, while integers congruent to a modulo n are creating a set called congruence class. Residue class or simply residue of the integer a, modulo n. History In the 3rd century BCE, Euclid formalized, in his book Elements, the fundamentals of arithmetic, as well as showing his lemma, which he used to prove the fundamental theorem of arithmetic. Euclid's Elements also contained a study of perfect numbers in the 36th proposition of Book 9. Diophantus of Alexandria wrote Arithmetica containing 130 equations and treating the essence of problems having only one solution, fraction or integer. The Chinese earlier than 240 CE had the Chinese remainder theorem. Congruence relation, modular arithmetic can be handled mathematically by introducing a congruence relation on the integers that is compatible with the operations of the ring of integers, addition, subtraction, and multiplication. For a positive integer n, two integers a and b are said to be congruent modulo a n, written if their difference or a a b is an integer multiple of a n. The number n is called the modulus of the congruence. For example, because 38 a a a 14 a equals a 24, which is a multiple of a 12. The same rule holds for negative values. Equivalently, can also be thought of as asserting that the remainders of the division of both and by are the same. For instance, because both 38 and 14 have the same remainder to when divided by 12. It is also the case that is an integer multiple of 12, which agrees with the prior definition of the congruence relation. A remark on the notation, because it is common to consider several congruence relations for different moduli at the same time, the modulus is incorporated in the notation. In spite of the ternary notation, the congruence relation for a given modulus is binary. This would have been clearer if the notation or permal nabi had been used, instead of the common traditional notation. The properties that make this relation a congruence relation are the following. If and then. It should be noted that the above two properties would still hold if the theory were expanded to include all real numbers, that is if were not necessarily all integers. The next property, however, would fail if these variables were not all integers. Remainders, the notion of the modular arithmetic is related to that of the remainder in Euclidean division. The operation of finding the remainder is sometimes referred to as the modulo operation and we may see 2 equals 14. The differences in the use of congruency, indicated by a permal, and equality indicated by equal. Equality implies specifically the common residue, the least non-negative member of an equivalence class. When working with modular arithmetic, each equivalence class is usually represented by its common residue, for example 38 a permal 2 which can be found using long division. 
it follows that, while it is correct to say 38 a per mil 14, and 2 a per mil 14, it is incorrect to say 38 equals 14. The difference is clearest when dividing a negative number, since in that case remainders are negative. Hence to express the remainder we would have to write a 5 a per mil a 17, rather than 7 equals a 17, since equivalence can only be said of common residues with the same sign. In computer science, it is the remainder operator that is usually indicated by either percent or mod, with exceptions. These operators are commonly pronounced as mod, but it is specifically a remainder that is computed. The function modulo instead of mod, like 38 a per mil 14 is sometimes used to indicate the common residue rather than a remainder. For details of the specific operations defined in different languages, see the modulo operation page. Parentheses are sometimes dropped from the expression, for example 38 a per mil 14 mod 12 or 2 equals 14 mod 12, or placed around the divisor for example 38 a per mil 14 mod. Notations such as 38, mod 12, has also been observed, but is ambiguous without contextual clarification. Functional representation of the remainder operation, the remainder operation can be represented using the floor function. If b a per mil a, where n greater than zero, then if the remainder b is calculated, where is the largest integer less than or equal to, then, if instead a remainder b in the range a n a per mil currency b less than zero is required, then, residue systems, each residue class modulo n may be represented by any one of its members, although we usually represent each residue class by the smallest non-negative integer which belongs to that class. Note that any two members of different residue classes modulo n are incongruent modulo n. Furthermore, every integer belongs to one and only one residue class modulo n. The set of integers 0, 1, 2, n, 1 is called the least residue system modulo n. Any set of n integers, no two of which are congruent modulo n, is called a complete residue system modulo n. It is clear that the least residue system is a complete residue system, and that a complete residue system is simply a set containing precisely one representative of each residue class modulo n. The least residue system modulo 4 is 0, 1, 2, 3. Some other complete residue systems modulo 4 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 13, 14, 15, 16, minus 2, minus 1, 0. 1, minus 13, 4, 17, 18, minus 5, 0, 6, 21, 27, 32, 37, 42, some sets which are not complete residue systems modulo 4 are, minus 5, 0, 6, 22 since 6 is congruent to 22 modulo 4, 5. 15 since a complete residue system modulo 4 must have exactly 4 incongruent residue classes. Reduced residue systems. Any set of i, n, integers that are relatively prime to n and that are mutually incongruent modulo n, where i, n, denotes Euler's totient function, is called a reduced residue system modulo n. The example above, 5, 15 is an example of a reduced residue system modulo 4. Congruence classes, like any congruence relation, congruence modulo n is an equivalence relation, and the equivalence class of the integer a, denoted by, is the set. This set, consisting of the integers congruent to all modulo n, is called the congruence class or residue class or simply residue of the integer a, modulo n. When the modulus n is known from the context, that residue may also be denoted. Integers modulo n. The set of all congruence classes of the integers for a modulus n is called the set of integers modulo n, and is denoted, or. The notation is, however, not recommended because it can be confused with the set of n-adic integers. The set is defined as follows. When now a per mil a0, has n elements, and can be written as. When n equals 0, does not have 0 elements. Rather, it is isomorphic to, since. We can define addition, subtraction, and multiplication on by the following rules. The verification that this is a proper definition uses the properties given before. In this way, 
becomes a commutative ring. For example, in the ring, we have as in the arithmetic for the 24-hour clock. The notation is used, because it is the factor ring of by the ideal containing all integers divisible by n, where is the singleton set. Thus is a field when is a maximal ideal, that is, when is prime. In terms of groups, the residue class is the cassette of it and the quotient group, a cyclic group. The set has a number of important mathematical properties that are foundational to various branches of mathematics. Rather than excluding the special case n equals zero, it is more useful to include, for example when discussing the characteristic of a ring. The set of integers modulo n form a finite field if and only if n is prime. Applications, modular arithmetic is referenced in number theory, group theory, ring theory, knot theory, abstract algebra, computer algebra, cryptography, computer science, chemistry and the visual and musical arts. It is one of the foundations of number theory, touching on almost every aspect of his study, and provides key examples for group theory, ring theory and abstract algebra. Modular arithmetic is often used to calculate checksums that are used within identifiers. International bank account numbers, for example, make use of modulo 97 arithmetic to trap user input errors in bank account numbers. In cryptography, Modular arithmetic directly underpins public key systems such as RSA and Ify Hellman, as well as providing finite fields which underlie elliptic curves, and is used in a variety of symmetric key algorithms including AES, IDEA, and RC4. In computer algebra, modular arithmetic is commonly used to limit the size of integer coefficients in intermediate calculations and data. It is used in polynomial factorization a problem for which all known efficient algorithms use modular arithmetic. It is used by the most efficient implementations of polynomial greatest common divisor, exact linear algebra and gra paragraph BNER basis algorithms over the integers and the rational numbers. In computer science, modular arithmetic is often applied in bitewise operations and other operations involving fixed width, cyclic data structures. The modulo operation as implemented in many programming languages and calculators, is an application of modular arithmetic that is often used in this context. XOR is the sum of two bits, modulo 2. In chemistry, the last digit of the CAS registry number is a check digit, which is calculated by taking the last digit of the first two parts of the CAS registry number times 1, your next digit times 2, your next digit times 3 etc adding all these up and computing the sum modulo 10. In music, arithmetic modulo 12 is used in the consideration of the system of 12-tone equal temperament, where octave and inharmonic equivalency occurs. The method of casting out nines offers a quick check of decimal arithmetic computations performed by hand. It is based on modular arithmetic modulo 9, and specifically on the crucial property that 10 a per mil 1. Arithmetic modulo 7 is used in algorithms that determine the day of the week for a given date. In particular, Zeller's congruence and the doomsday algorithm make heavy use of modulo 7 arithmetic. More generally, modular arithmetic also has application in disciplines such as law, economics, and other areas of the social sciences, where proportional division and allocation of resources plays a central part of the analysis. Computational complexity, since modular arithmetic has such a wide range of applications, it is important to know how hard it is to solve a system of congruences. A linear system of congruences can be solved in polynomial time with a form of Gaussian elimination, for details see linear congruence theorem. Algorithms, such as Montgomery reduction, also exist to allow simple arithmetic operations such as multiplication and exponentiation modulo n, to be performed efficiently on large numbers. Solving a system of nonlinear modular arithmetic equations is NP-complete. Example implementations, below are two reasonably fast sample C codes for performing modular multiplication on unsigned integers not larger than 63 bits, without overflow of the transient operations. An algorithmic way to compute AB. On computer architectures where an extended precision format with at least 64 bits of mantissa is available, 
the following routine is faster than any algorithmic solution, by employing the trick that, by hardware, floating point multiplication results in the most significant bits of the product kept, while integer multiplication results in the least significant bits kept. Note that, however, that for both routines to work, m must not exceed 63 bits. See also Notes References 1. Encyclopedia Britannica Modular Arithmetic The Postal, Tom M. Introduction to Analytic Number Theory, Undergraduate Texts in Mathematics, New York Heidelberg, Springer Verlag, ISBN A978-0-387-90112 Mrelo 434929, ZBLA 0335.1001A. See in particular chapters 5 and 6 for a review of basic modular arithmetic. Martin Bullink Modular Arithmetic before Compare Gauss. Systematizations and discussions on remainder problems in 18th century Germany, Thomas H. Corman, Charles E. Lesserson, Ronald L. Rebist, and Clifford Stein. Introduction to Algorithms. Second edition. MIT Press in McGraw-Hill, 2001. ISBN 0-262-03293-7. Section 31.3 Modular Arithmetic, PPA 862 Euro 868. Anthony Jaya, Number Theory, An Introduction Reprint Dover. ISBN 0-486-41449-3. Long, Calvin T., Elementary Introduction to Number Theory, Lexington, D.C. Heath & Company, LCCNA 77171950. Pettifrezzo, Anthony J. Pickett, Donald R., Elements of Number Theory, Englewood Cliffs, Prentice Hall, LCCNA 71081766. Sangadir, T. Discrete Mathematics and Combinatorics. Chennai, India, Pearson Education India. ISBN A978-81-317-1405-8. OCLC A778356123. External links, Haswinkel, Mikiel, ed., Congruence, Encyclopedia of Mathematics, Springer. ISBN A978-1-55608-010-1. In this modular art article, one can learn more about applications of modular arithmetic in art. Wellstein, Eric W., Modular Arithmetic, MathWorld. An article on modular arithmetic on the GIMPS wiki, Modular Arithmetic and Patterns in Addition and Multiplication Tables. Whitney Music Box A Euro An Audio Video Demonstration of Integer Modular Math, Automated Modular Arithmetic Theorem Provers, Spear, or Prover, Simple C++ Framework Easy to Use in Applications, Supporting All Integer Operators Present in Languages Such as CJAVA and Arbitrary Bitwidth.